There's nothing left to say How to get up, walk away Knowing the hold, knowing the fall Knowing the hold, knowing the Hello and welcome. So what more can I say? The South African market has not had this many SUVs and variety in many years. If I think back, previously you would probably be looking at a Toyota RAV4, a Hyundai Tucson, even something like the iX35 or the Tiguan. So those cars have moved into a completely different category, making way for this new segment. So let me introduce to you the car of the year winner, the Beijing X55 from Bike. Come take a look. So I'm sure that you can agree. What we want in South Africa is value for money. And that is where I think this car comes in, the Beijing Bike X55. It has a long list of features and extras, ranging from ABS, EBD, EBA, and TPMS, which is uh, not new ways to say the word LOL. So you're probably asking yourself the question, how does it feel climbing into this car? And I would say that uh, considering it's a Chinese brand, we have the stigma that things might feel a little bit cheap, but they haven't skimped on anything. The plastics feel actually quite good, as you could hear. The door shuts quite solidly. And um, everything has this wonderful brushed metal plastic um, and kind of synthetic leather kind of feel, where things feel quite tough, strong, and uh, well put together. But immediately you greet it with these two wonderful rectangular screens in front of you. Someone that uses their phone quite a bit. You don't actually feel out of place. Um, it feels a little bit more futuristic. Um, I will say, however, that it does take some getting used to. Where the dashboard is concerned, because everything is integrated into the screen, uh, it does seem empty, but it also feels nice. So this one being the dynamic model, if you do look at it, it actually has quite a lot of features. Look, not as much as your Elite and your Premium model, but um, it doesn't leave much to be desired for. Features such as push to start, reverse camera with park assist, and even LED headlights all come standard on this model. Not to mention the dual and curtain airbags across the range. I'd like to add that every model across the board shares the same engine and drivetrain. A 1.5 liter turbocharging engine producing 130 kilowatts and 305 newton meters of torque. Look, it's in no means a GTI, but it's nicely mated together with a seven speed automatic dual clutch transmission. So let's move to the back. When you consider legroom of uh, the Beijing, as you can see, I'm about 1.85 and um, legroom is actually substantial. Um, this vehicle, being a compact family vehicle, an SUV, it's quite weird that in this department of vehicle, you would get this much legroom. Um, I'm not gonna say you're gonna have activities or a bit of a camp, but you could easily sit, probably three adults, two adults and a kid, comfortably at the back. Also, in the center, you get a center armrest, two bottle holders, and isopics, which is very important for people with kids. And another thing that I need to mention, of course, there is a uh, USB-A charging port over here. Space, comfort, it's all here. Nothing too exciting at the back, but it does exactly what you need. Of course, with the more premium and the elite models, you do get a panoramic sunroof. So a little bit more for you to be able to observe once you're at the back. However, that is... Uh, what the Beijing feels like over here. I can say that boot space is a uh, cause in its category. It's more on the average size, if I can put it that way. I do like this raised back. There is additional space underneath here and you do get a Mari biscuit spare wheel. It's not the full size spare wheel. What I do want to test however is um, the person test. Let's see how I fit here. Now, I've been long enough in the industry to know that uh, if someone does lock you in the boot, there is a manual override release in the boot at the back. You're probably wondering then, how does it feel to drive? The, the gear knob feels a little bit different, but it looks looks unique. Um, just like the outside of the vehicle. Very unique, very futuristic. And I think in some instances, we... This is, if, if I think back to when I was younger, I kind of thought cars would look like this in the future. <laughs> I'm not sure if we are in the future as yet or how things will progress as we move along. And of course, just the aerodynamic design of the vehicle. Um, that does also aid to the vehicle having... Actually, I'm not going to say great. I'm not going to say good. It's very average fuel consumption for a vehicle in this category. Um, claimed at 7.1 litres per 100 kilometres. 
Um, the, those that want to know kilometers per liter, I think it's about 14, something in that region. So you have different modes on this vehicle. You of course have Comfort, Eco, Sport, as well as Smart. So most of the time we were driving in Eco, or I was driving in Eco, or in Comfort, and it didn't, it didn't feel like 130 kilowatts. Um, however, if you do move between your Sport, you'll get notified that there's a little bit of a change. It lights up with a little bit of a red accent that makes a noise tell you that you are in sport mode and um, you get a bit more performance and it doesn't feel as lazy but I think uh, considering that in an eco mode setting in a performance mode setting of course you will choose the best drive for you depending on your driving style this night of course in sport mode so you feel the car is a bit more go I don't know if you can hear that but it actually sounds nice and it has a bit of a grunt to it um, it's not by any means a race car, if I can say that. Um, but for such a big vehicle, I think that you just want to have that comfort if you do need to overtake, that um, you have a bit of performance underneath your foot. Probably the best thing to do when you do get inside of Beijing, whether you're going to test drive it, whether you're going to do own one, uh, familiarize yourself with everything. But for the large part, what I can say, build quality is surprising. I, I really never knew that this car would have the build quality that it has. Um, road noise, it is good, but I'm not sure if you just heard while I was driving there was a bit of uh, wind and you could hear it. I thought the window was open, but um, that has absolutely gone away. But then again, we are in Cape Town. In Cape Town, wind is different wind. There is a reverse camera for those that don't know, and then of course on the premium and the elite models, you get additional PDC in the front. Overall, the, 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 the view in front is enough for the driver to feel interactive with the car but at the same time it's not overwhelming in the sense that there's too many things happening in front of it. and i did mention that all the vehicles across the range same engine same gearbox so it's not like you when you move between one vehicle to the next you have different engines to choose between performance across the board is identical to explain to you how it is to actually feel how the other feel is to drive i don't know how it is to constantly own a day-to-day -day basis I myself drive a Dental Dental Duster, so dimension-wise, it's it's okay. Features-wise, it feels much nicer to drive than the Duster. It's much quieter inside. I got the manual, diesel, sounds noisy. This car sounds nice and quiet inside. Um, space-wise, I think that's more than enough space for anyone looking in this kind of category of vehicle. I'm still, I'm still, uh, you know, cars these days have gotten so expensive, and. Um, in the 400,000 Rand range, this is a very, it's something to consider, if I can put it that way. But I would urge you to come take a test drive and um, pop around to William Simpson, see how the vehicle is, get a feel of it. Um, because a car is not just something that you're going to buy once in a while, it's, it's something that you actually put some thought into. Um, so getting that feel of exactly what you potentially looking at and buying is, is definitely something to, to consider. Thank you so much for the opportunity to test drive the, the bike, Beijing. Absolute pleasure. Um, I just have a few questions. Sure. So I know warranty is five year 150. That's correct. Okay. Service plan, five year? Five year 60,000. 60,000 kilometers. And what's the intervals in the vehicle? Um, the, your first interval is 5,000 and then 10,000, which is 15 and 15 after that. So it's 15,000 in total. Okay, so five and then after five you will do 15 and then every 15? Correct, sir. For a year? Yeah. Okay, okay. Excellent. And, and, and if I may ask, outside of service plan, what, what is, are, are services quite pricey or what is it? At the moment, not really, eh? The, this is one of the cheaper um, service buckets out there. Okay. Um, so you're looking at, if it's out of plan, you have the option of obviously extending that plan yeah. or spending about 4,500 on, on the service. On the service. On the service. Okay, okay, no problem at all. So look, you can, you can of course look at your budget and work it out. It's, it's roughly, you know, ballpark figure of what you're going to be paying for if you're going to service any other mainstream car out there. Correct. But look, there, there's a lot of up and coming brands yes. um, that's on the market. And um, from initial experience of driving this vehicle, I can say it's nice and quiet inside. Yeah. Cabin um, is quiet. The cabin is nice and quiet. It feels nice and solid. Yes. Um, the gearbox, like you said, in comparison with the older technology, there's a seven speed dual clutch box. Correct. Um, it's not a lazy vehicle because it's, it's not like something that, that I put my foot down to, you know, just yeah. accelerate, but you can feel between your eco, your comfort and your sport, there is a bit of a variation. The car itself is phenomenal. Uh, I 
just love it. I mean, I've been at many other dealers, and uh, this is one of the first Chinese cars that actually gives me that, you know, when you get a smile on your face, mm -hmm. that type of vehicle. But there's no bad cars on the road, so that's why I'm urging people, come out, come to William Simpson, take a test drive in the vehicle, feel what it feels like. I promise you, you're going to be astounded. Yeah.